Hello everyone, today we look at a heat transfer simulation. To begin, tubes of heat transfer. We have three tubes, conduction, transfer of energy through collision between nightborn atoms or molecules. Example is heating of metal beam, heat transfer from warm to cold side. Convection, the transfer of energy by the movement of fluid. Free convection, fluid motion through by buoyancy force from the density variation. Forced convection, fluid motion through forced flow maybe by fan or hydraulic pump. And heat transfer by radiation. It is the transfer of energy by emission of electromagnetic waves. Typical example is sunshine. For every tube description we need physical constants. For conduction, values of material, thermal expansion, thermal conductivity and specific heat. For convection, we need convection coefficient and for radiation, Steffen Boltzmann constant and emissivity coefficient. Any data for conduction, con convection and radiation can you see here. Conduction values for different materials. Convection is depending of fluid and fluid velocity. Radiation is one for black body and is it is dependent of surface properties. Polished or oxidized surface from metal. Now we start new project in Prepo Max. Import beam geometry. To first mesh it, meshing parameter max and min element sides 20 mm. First other elements. Second mesh setup, extrude mesh. Meshing algorithm frontal Delauni for quads and recombine algorithm blossom. Extrude 25 elements, preview mesh and create. Next step, define the material. Steel with density and elastic properties. After this to thermal properties. You can see here thermal expansion at it and Z thermal expansion for steel. IZ thermal conductivity and specific head for steel. Create solid section with steel. After this, initial conditions. Temperature of 20 degrees Celsius for my part. Now we create heat transfer step. Steady state of incrementation direct it is constant time increment time period is four hours in second it is 14400 second and initial time is 316 second next we create loads first load is flux on nodes for example i define 100 watt thermal flux on nodes i have 16 nodes here and it is 100000 microwatt so is my value is 6215 microwatt at node. We can define also flux on surface or body. Next lot is convection. Sink te temperature 20 degrees Celsius and film coefficients 0 0.05. It is free convection of air. And finally we create radiation with zinc temperature 20 degrees and emissivity 0.4. Create history output for temperature on cold end of beam.
uh, additionally for radiation, we need to define or to activate Stefan Boltzmann constant in model. Model edit, you can see phys physical constants activate Stefan Boltzmann constant. Model is finished, we can start simulation. Results, you can see heat transfer in the beam, history output. Plot temperature. Temperature is increased with time. It is OK. I go back to model and duplicate first step and deactivate flux. Now I have heating step and after this I cooling. Heat transfer from one side to another and after in step 2 heat transfer to environment. Run simulation. No, in temperature plot you can see heating and cooling. Alternative, we can use temperature as boundary conditions, deactivate flux and create temperature on surface 200 degrees. Run simulation again. Results. Now we have 200 degrees on the side of beam. Plot temperature. It was for today. See you next time on Have Fun with Heat Transfer Simulation. Bye bye.